jumping in right now. I'm hitting record, and then I'm going to be doing the highlight video. We're going to watch that as a whole. Everybody should be able to see my screen, correct? Yeah, Coach. We got you. All right, here we go. Play some music or something. I don't know, someone help me out. Can I put music on in the background without messing it up? Does it have music tagged to it already? No, it doesn't. Okay. But can I put it in the background and have it work or not really? I think you could. Yeah, you should be able to. Yeah, coach. Okay. Can you still see it? Or did I mess yeah. it up when I'm looking? Uh, we still see showing? Still, still showing. there. Okay.
a ball rolling. This doesn't seem too long ago, fellas. Man, it, yeah. and we've been through a lot, guys, shoot, since then. But honestly, Coach Crow, I don't think I've seen the highlight video since the season ended. This looks, we had a pretty damn good team, fellas. Boom. That's the classic bye. That's it. Is Benji on here? And we got to get ready for that slot T, guys. Ed Couch is going to run that. We did a good job stopping these guys. Points were scored here.
All right, Coacher. Am I, am I on, Coach Crow? Okay. Hey, uh, gentlemen, um, just want to welcome you guys uh, to our virtual banquet. I mean, we wish it, would, it could have been done face to face, but you know, we weren't given the green light, guys. But I asked Coach Crow if I can just speak at the beginning and just uh, want to thank you guys for everything that you've given to this program for the seniors, you know, and well, really for everybody, guys. We, we've been through a lot in the last 12 months. And I think what's made what we've gone through a little bit easier is, is just us being a part of a of, of, of something bigger than than you. We all had our struggles. We all, you know, at home, what we what we would come from, from home and go back to at home. But I think I, I'd like to think that what made this a little bit easier to go through, guys, is just that brotherhood and that connection and that relationship you had with your teammates. And so I just want to thank you guys from the bottom of my heart. Uh, you know, I, I, I move on, and, and this program is, isn't going to miss a beat. Coach Krell and all our coaches here, guys, they're going to continue this. And, you know, that that's what it's about, gentlemen. Just uh, want to thank you guys, and um, uh, that's all I got. Coach Krell, it's all yours. Thank you, Coach. We just wanted to basically pop in and, and kind of introduce the coaches before we, we wrap this up by, by doing all of our accolades and all the guys that helped us this year. Um, just started off, I am Coach Krell. I'm very happy to have this opportunity. I've been coaching uh, for, for 24 years now, and, and, and this is an extreme joy to, to take over this program. Um, to me, this is the greatest profession in the world, and, and partly so because we have guys like you guys. You know, our seniors are all the way down to our freshmen. We've got a great group of guys here, and I am truly blessed. And um, you parents that are out there that are listening, just know that we're here, and we're going to help you uh, raise these kids. And we're going to kind of keep going here. I'm going to pass it over to uh, Coach Sines, our first assistant. Yes, sir. Thank you. Uh, my name is Coach Sines. I'm the first assistant. I was the OC last year, and uh, – I've been coaching for 28 years. 16 of those have been at the high school here at Sherland. There's a reason for that, man. It's, it's a great school to work with, uh, work at, and the kids are great. Parents are very supportive. And, and uh, in saying that, I want to thank you, parents, for allowing your your sons to be able to play last year with the situation that we're in. So uh, thank you for everything you do, and, and uh, we're here for the kids, man. And great job, boys. Coach Walker. I'm, I'm Coach Jason Walker, uh, defense coordinator. Um, I too want to congratulate and thank the parents. Uh, you know, I had some, I had some really good seniors this year. I, I, I you know, cause it, to me, this day is about the seniors, you know, and, uh, leaving, leaving their legacy. And, and despite of what we face and everything, I, you know, every year you have a group of seniors that, that takes a, a little bit of your heart away. And, and I had some good seniors and, and I think my seniors know exactly what I'm, who I'm talking about. And, you know, it's all of them because they all have an important part. And uh, I want to thank the parents, man, because um, you've got some you got some really good kids, and uh, I'm I'm really proud of them. And 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 you know we we as we as, on this coaching staff we always say if football is the only thing that these kids uh, walk away with, then we failed them as coaches. And I know for a fact that these young men that I've been a part of, and you know they they're going to do great things, and and hopefully I'm going to. Well, I know for a fact that they're going to do great things, and and I want to get to see them grow. So I want to thank you, parents, for that. Uh, been on the staff for uh, this is my seventh year. I'll be going on my eighth. And uh, this staff right here of, of men that I work with, uh, you know, we, we we like to call you. We like to call your kids uh, our second sons, or you know, and and you know, we like to be their second parents. So thank you, and uh, really appreciate that. Thank you very much, Coach Coach Pena. Hello, my name is uh, Pasquale Pena, and I'm the just got promoted to the offensive coordinator position. I'm thankful for Coach Grove for giving me that opportunity. Um, I've been at Sherland uh, nine years. It'll be 10 next year. I've been in the profession for 15, and then uh, couldn't ask for a better place to be. Uh, thank you for everything that you did for us this year, uh, seniors. And then, of course, thank you, parents, for you know, working with us. And I know it wasn't easy, but uh, we got through it, and uh, I know we're better for it. I'm going to pass it over to Coach Pembroke. Uh, I'm Coach James Penbrook. I'm the special teams coordinator. Uh, this is my 27th year of teaching and my 
15th year teaching and coaching. This is my 15th year at Sherryland. Uh, I can't tell you how proud I am of, of you boys this year. Uh, with all the adversity that we had to go through, with all the number of games in so many quick days and how it, toward the end of the season, how it was, you guys kept fighting. And as coaches, we, we couldn't be more proud of that, uh, the, how much you, you, you showed us that you had some fight in you. Uh, I want to congratulate you guys on, on a good season. And younger guys coming back, we can't wait to get started for next year. Thank you. Uh, Coach Soul. Hey guys, I'm Coach Stoll. Uh, first off, seniors, uh, I have a unique privilege to be able to have said that I've coached you all four years. Uh, you guys are definitely the, the last class that I have. Uh, we've been together since freshman year, all the way now, all the way up through your senior year. And from what you guys have done from your freshman year to what you've become as seniors, I couldn't be prouder to uh, have been a part of your, your, uh, your lives. Uh, I know that your class is definitely going to be hold uh, a big moment in my heart because of what uh, I was able to to spend with you guys. Um, I was at the privilege to uh, coach the receivers this year, working with the quarterbacks. Uh, been here for eight years, so half of that time, this uh, senior class, I've been with you guys. All right. Um, again, I can't be any more prouder of of the senior class and, and how you guys have turned out. Uh, Coach Flores. Hi, I'm Coach Flores. Uh, I coach the secondary and I also work with the kickers. Uh, like guys, like everyone has said, these guys, you know, a great group of guys to work with and your kids have been uh, amazing. I think we have some of the, the best uh, kids in the Valley as far as, you know, the maturity and, and, and work ethic. Um, and you know that tribute to you parents who have instilled that in your in, in your children. Uh, I've been coaching here for this is going to be my twentieth year here at Cherryland, and so it, it's every year it's it's, it's great, and, and I wouldn't want to be anywhere else. Thank you guys for for allowing me to coach your your, your you guys, and and if your parents are here, your your kids. Thanks so much. Um, I think it's uh, Coach Perez. Hey, uh, I'm Coach Perez. Uh, this is this this past year be my fourth year coaching. I've been coaching the varsity safeties for the past two years, and uh, you know I'm a Sherryland alumni, SHS alumni, and it's like uh, the other coaches have said, it's been a pleasure to uh, coach your kids. Uh, I've learned a lot from you know your kids as well as the coaching staff. Uh, this past year was very tough. Uh, it was very difficult. But, um, you know, like one of the other coaches said, it, it just shows the, the character of the kids and being able to push through, um, even though we didn't have the season that we, you know, would have wanted. But uh, I'm very appreciative of, of all the kids, not just the safeties, you know, all the kids we have in the program. And, uh, again, uh, thank you very much. Sorry, um, Coach uh, Hong? Hey, I'm, I'm Coach Hong. Uh, I've been coaching the O-line for the last six years. Uh, I've been teaching here um, for that long. And, you know, I started my career here and, and, and you know, there's a reason why, you know, what you stay, you stick with a program that, that has, you know, guys, the coaches that I work with, the kids that I work with. So thank you parents for, for those um, that sacrifice a lot. I understand that this season was, was a lot of, you know, ups and downs and, you know, your kids showed up. You know, every single day, and, and you couldn't ask more for 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 uh, from a group of kids. I know, uh, you know, I, I had I had some really great kids um, as seniors, and you guys did a really good job. And I know, uh, you know, you guys stuck it out, and and we instilled, you know, hard work pays off, and and that and that really stayed true. So, good luck to you, seniors, uh, and and thank you, thank you, parents. Um, who's up? I think we go to Coach Barbosa. Yeah, Coach Barbosa. Yeah. All right, good evening. I'm Coach Barbosa. I've been here for the past three years, and this is my first year working alongside Coach Hong on the varsity staff for the offensive line. Uh, my first year actually working in Sherryland, I was working over on the north side down the road. All right, 
and uh, and I knew I, this is where I wanted to be. Um, just want to say thank you to all the parents and to all the players. We were in a very unique situation this past uh, season, but we got through it. Uh, I know we have we had a good group of seniors, right? Good group of kids, good athletes, but even better people that I know they're ready to go out and and go into the real world. Uh, whatever decision they, they decide to make into the workforce or, or university, college, whatever they decide. All right. And to the young guys, just learn from these guys, all right, from the seniors, all right, continue that leadership that they built on. Thank you to the parents. Thank you to the players. I think next is Coach uh, De La Fuente. Good evening. Uh, I'm Coach De La Fuente. I'm a freshman coach. And you seniors, I came in four years ago and you seniors were my first team uh, that I got to coach here at Sherryland. And uh, it was a, it's an honor and it, and it, you know, it's a special place in your heart having the, that first team with you seniors. And, um, you know, seeing you guys grow in these last four years, you know, I wish you guys nothing but the best uh, in the future. Coach Garza. Good evening, guys. My name is Coach Garza. I'm a freshman football coach also. This is my third year here at Sheridan. Um, to you seniors, just want to say good luck on your future endeavors, guys, and just keep working at it. Use the lessons that you guys learned on the football field and transition them into real life, guys. Um, it was a pleasure. It's a pleasure to working with all these coaches, and I look forward to many more years at Sheridan. Thanks. This is Coach Sam. Good, uh, good evening, everybody. Uh, this is Coach Mangum. I'm um, a freshman coach this year um, with COVID-19 and everything. I, I got the chance to work with a lot of these seniors, though. Um, this is my first year here, so I did notice that kids at Sherland, they have a lot of desirable characteristics, and, uh, you know, they're passionate about the sport. They're respectful. They've got good work ethic, and uh, I'm very, I'm very uh, sure that these seniors are going to you know, have a lot of success in the future, whether it's in the workforce or in college. And uh, it was a real pleasure working with you guys this year. And I'm excited to work with everybody else that's coming back these next couple of years. All right. Thank you, coaches. Now let's get, let's keep going here and, and uh, get on with uh, recognizing all the guys that helped us this year. We got it. It's recorded. So we'll be listening to that. And here we go. Hello, good evening, and welcome to the Sherryland Rattlers Virtual Football Banquet. And go over through the season summary. What a crazy football season this was. No offseason, no summer strength and conditioning, then a late start, no athletic period, no locker room, and altered schedule. We started the season with a scrimmage versus Mack High and finished with a good win. It is always important to start off the year with a victory which we were able to do. We opened the season versus Nikki Rowe and came away with a very good victory by building a 34-10 lead and finishing our first game by a score of 34-24. From here, we moved into district play. We faced Roma for our first uh, district opponent. We walked away with a nice victory, beating Roma by a score of 35-17. We followed Roma with our game versus Pioneer. Both offenses were unstoppable. After three quarters of play, we were down by three points and ended up losing the game. But we're very proud of how hard our kids battled all night, all night long. After an emotional loss, it was difficult. But our guys are resilient. We followed up by playing a talented Miss and Vets team. Our kids responded well by beating them by a score of 40 to 25. We finished our zone in second place with a record of two and one. Then we played PSA Southwest for a playing game. Basically, the playoffs already started. We suffered quarantine and postponements of games, which made us play four games in a matter of 21 days. Not an easy task. We fell short versus PSA Southwest by a score of 7-21. to 21. We are extremely pleased that we got to play an abbreviated schedule. We could not be more proud of our seniors. They have been excellent leaders. They have faced tremendous amount of adversity and have come out on top. We wish you well and know that you will come out on top again. Now that we are here for you, if anything, know that we are here for you if there's anything we need. 
God bless you and good luck in the future. Good evening. At this time, we're going to be introducing all of the participants in the 2020-2021 varsity football season. Introducing the freshmen that participated this year. Marcos Esparza, Homero Garcia, Fabian Garza, Eric Gonzalez, Bo Krell, Caden Riquenas, and Bernie Vargas. Good evening. I'm Coach Benbrook. We're going to be talking about the sophomores that contributed to the varsity football team this year. Jorge Botello, Gabriel Garza, Cole Gerlach, Alan Gonzalez, Alec Gonzalez, Daniel Gonzalez, Gabriel Guajardo, Alan Guerrero, Diego Guerrero, Cesar Mares, Cali Nguma, Julian Ortiz, Matthew Perez, Jojo Sines, and Beto Salazar. Hello, I'm Coach Walker. I'll be introducing the 2020-2021 juniors, this year's varsity football team. Starting off with Alex Altamiriano, Tennessee Cano, Lauro Cantu, Omar Carranza, David Chavez, Alfredo Cruz, Thomas Ernstein, Chris Gonzalez, Orly Lopez, Hugo Martinez, Jake Martinez, Diego Ochoa, Moses Rodriguez, Cross Salinas, Javier Trevino, Gerard Valdez, Ricky Vasquez, Luis Villarreal, and Diego Zabal. Coach Sainz here, we're going to go ahead and introduce the 2020 21 seniors that participated in football. Starting with Steven Alvarez, Marcelo Anser, Felipe Andrade, Javier Ayala, Liam Cabrera, Eduardo Cantú, Diego Cárdenas, Robert Carpio, Vladi Cavazos, Alan Cisneros, Julián de Luna, César Díaz, Mauricio Galindo, Eduardo García, Adolfo García, Luis González, Rafael Gracia, Ramiro Guzmán, Emilio Hinojosa, AJ Madrigal, Robert Mancha, Abel Martínez, Drake Martínez, Eduardo Mendoza, Marcelo Navarro, Lorenzo Prest, Ruben Ramírez, Federico Rodríguez, Joshua Ramírez, Eric Rosales, Roly Sainz, Raúl Salais, Oscar Sánchez, Gerardo Stolberg, Benji Valdivia, Aaron Vallejo, Matthew Worthington, and Juan Vela. So you seniors, football team right there. Okay, at this time, we're going to be recognizing individuals that received all district awards. Introducing the individuals who received all district honorable mention. Senior, Luis Gonzalez, honorable mention punt returner. Junior, Luis Villarreal, honorable mention defensive end. Senior, Marcelo Navarro, honorable mention outside linebacker. Senior, Javier Ayala, honorable mention defensive tackle. Senior, Marcelo Anser, honorable mention safety. Senior, Diego Cárdenas, honorable mention corner. Sophomore, Gabriel Guajardo, honorable mention outside linebacker. Senior, Eduardo Stolberg, honorable mention tackle. Junior, Diego Ochoa, honorable mention guard. Senior, Orly Lopez, honorable mention quarterback. And senior, Josh Ramirez, honorable mention wide receiver. I'm going to be reading the second team all district. Senior Robert Mancha, inside receiver. Junior Diego Zavala, inside receiver. Senior AJ Madrigal, outside receiver. 
junior Ricky Vasquez, outside receiver, senior Will Patterson, tight end, sophomore Alan Guerrero, halfback, sophomore Alan Gonzalez, halfback, sophomore Thomas Robinson, fullback, junior Thomas Ehrenstein, center, junior Tennessee Cano, inside linebacker, senior Luis Gonzalez, safety and kickoff return, and sophomore Carl Cole Gerlach, punter. Next, I'll be reading the all-district first team group. Started with number 90, our senior, Mauricio Galindo, defensive tackle. Junior, number 44, Javier Trevino, outside linebacker. Senior, number 72, Cesar Diaz, defensive end. Number one, sophomore, Alan Gonzalez, safety. Sophomore, number 22, Alex, Alec, excuse me, Gonzalez, corner. Senior, Jake Martinez, number 65, nose guard. Number 80, sophomore, Cali Inguma, kicker. Number 24, freshman, Bo Krell, deep snapper. Number 13, senior, Benji Valdivia, quarterback. Number 50, senior, Matthew Worthington, tackle. Number 73, senior, Robert Carpio, guard. I will now go over the superlative awards for the 2020-2021 season. Number one, sophomore, Alan Gonzalez, honorable mention, all area. Number five, senior, Bloody Cavazos, defensive MVP and second team, all area. Number 12, senior, Roley Sines, offensive newcomer of the year. Honorable mention, all area and second team all state at the poll. And number 80, sophomore Cali Nguma, first team all area. All right, we also had a letter of intent this year. Jesus Bladi Cabasos, who played inside linebacker for us, <clears throat> signed to play college football at Grinnell College in Grinnell, Iowa. This is a Division three school that competes in the Midwest Conference. Congratulations, Lottie. I'm very proud of this academic All-State. We had three academic All-State athletes this year. Matthew Worthington, second team, academic All-State. Benji Valdivia, second team, academic All-State. Lottie Cavazos, first team, academic All-State. Congratulations, guys, on ac being academic All-State. Our perpetual plaque winners, Guts, goes to Jerry Stolberg and Mauricio Galindo. Congratulations. Spirit and Desire, Matthew Worthington and Robert Mancha. Once again, congratulations, well-deserves. Head Honor, Marcelo Anser and Javier Trevino. Congratulations. Playmaker Award, Luis Gonzalez. Luis was playing on both sides of the ball for us this year. Newcomer of the year, Alan Gonzalez and Alec Gonzalez. Once again, both of them had played on both sides of the ball for us this year. Congratulations. Our offensive player the, this year is Benji Valdivia. Our defensive player the, this year is Bloody Cavazos. And our Steve Stark Award goes to Roley Signs. Very much well-deserved by all three of you. Congratulations. We have a few announcements before we're going to end this evening. Okay, we have for our younger guys that are coming back next year, we have our summer strength and conditioning. It will start June 1st and go through July 1st. It's five weeks. Our football part is going to start at 8 a.m. We're going to go football from 8 to 9, and we are going to finish with weight from 9 to 10. On that very first Monday or that very first Tuesday, which is June 1st, right after Memorial Day, everyone will be COVID tested. We want to ensure that everybody is coming back with a negative test result and that this we are able to compete with our summer strength and conditioning as long as we possibly can without any interference. All athletes must also have their physical before starting summer strength and conditioning. 
We did not require this this last year, so we are trying to install this just to make sure that everybody's healthy and ready to compete. Uh, COVID protocols will be followed all summer long. <clears throat> and then also just another reminder, August 2nd will be our first day of football. Okay, so those are things, those are announcements and uh, things to keep in mind. And then for the most part, parents, we want to say thank you. We know uh, this year's been uh, a little bit of a challenge. Um, we know it's difficult even right now in the off season. Uh, we have kids coming up during third block, even though they're at home. They're coming up third block, and then they're coming up again after school to work out. And it can put a quite a bear, uh, you know, it could be a hassle for our parents. We want to say thank you for all the support, all that you do for your kids. Um, we just want to let you know that we love your kids and we're, and we're here for you. And uh, stick around if there's any other questions. We'll be free to answer those. Thank you and God bless. Uh, one more thing before uh, people decide to leave. Uh, we just found out today. Uh, I'm going to present real quick. We just found out today uh, the Rio Grande Valley Coaches Association. Here's the Rio Grande Valley West All-Star Honorees uh, for the 2021 football season for Sherryland. On offense, we got Matthew Worthington. Rolly Signs. Robert Mancha and Benji Valdivia on the defensive side of the ball. Our nominees, our honorees, our Bloody Cavazos, Mauricio Galindo, Cesar Diaz, and Luis Gonzalez. So these young men made the all star team, um, a lot, but with COVID. So congratulations to those eight. But with due to COVID and, and the restrictions, they are they are not playing the game, unfortunately, this year. But those uh, young men are recognized as as members of of being on that All Star West team. So congratulations to you guys. Um, that's it for our banquet tonight. I thank all the players, all the parents that were that able to make it. We appreciate everything you do, seniors. Um, this isn't the end. This is just the beginning for you guys. If you guys, again, if you guys ever need anything, um, you know we're here for you. Uh, I did recognize a, a few uh, typos in there grade level wise. Sorry about that. Um, I typed it up and when I looked it over, I guess I missed those mistakes. So, uh, But parents, if there is any questions, feel free to hang around. I am going to be leaving at this time. Uh, my little one is playing a softball game, her first one ever, and I do want to try to catch some of it before he uh, before she ends. Um, but that kind of concludes tonight. And thank you for coming, and, and God bless. Bye, Coach. Bye, Coach. Thank you, coaches. Thank you for the season. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Mal. Thank you. I believe that's it, gentlemen.